Hi everyone, it's Fanola Howard and this is Ask Fanola How and this is episode 11. I can't believe it, it's episode 11 and episode 11 is Ask the Question and I'm asked this question of how do I make my planning actually deliver? Planning for entrepreneurs is often quite a challenging space to be in because people hate to plan. And the reason people hate to plan is so often those plans don't actually deliver. So what I kind of want to focus on today for you in response to some of the things that I hear all the time from entrepreneurs is how do I make my planning actually deliver? And the biggest thing that I will say to you is you can make your planning deliver because you can simplify it. And I want to show you how to simplify it today. So a couple of things to understand the frustration around entrepreneurs, okay, that I want to share with you because I want you to know that you're not alone in this, that you are not the only one whose plans don't work, okay? I want you to know that, you know, you spend all this time, you do out your sales forecasts, you figure out all the things that need to be done, you get really, really excited about it, you know that this is possible, you start to see your mission actually come through, you can see your purpose being here and you making a difference. And I know that all of my clients want to make a difference in the world, that's why they're so wonderful, okay? And then it becomes really deflating when everything that you spent your time on didn't actually work, okay? And that breeds this hesitation around planning. But planning is a really important tool for you for success. It makes the difference and it gets you from here to there because you start to really see it, you know what things you need to put in place to make that happen, okay? So I want you to hold your nerve, okay? I want you to kind of center yourself and know that there's a better way to plan. Know there's a better way to get you from here to there. Three simple things for you today, and I'm actually gonna make it really short today. And the three simple things are this. One, the first thing is to know that there is no failure here. And if you plan with the intention and you deliver with the intention that there is no failure, there is only learning. So what if something didn't deliver the results you wanted? It has happened to me. It has happened to me more than once. But I know it was a learning point that I could get something from, that I would yield a greater insight that would help me do better next time and jump me to the next stage. And sometime in the future, I might share some of those lovely big mistakes. It might even be a really good reel <laughs> for Instagram. So first, remember that it's okay to learn. There's no failure, only learning. You watch the insights, you learn from them, you apply them next time. Don't allow it to slap you down or put you off course. It's simply a learning point. The second thing I want to say to you, and this lies at the heart of all the planning we do in How Great Marketing Works, and it forms part of the Guest Strategic Programme. And it's this idea of focusing on what matters most, okay? And focusing on things that can act as levers in your business. Now, I'm using the term lever very specifically. I rename the word milestone into something called a lever because milestones, you know what often happens that we get uh, overwhelmed by language that's overused? And milestones are one of those words that are often very overused. And what I want you to really anchor here is a milestone is something that makes a significant difference to your business, that pushes you to the next stage, that acts as a lever to the next stage of your growth. So if we know that we have levers in the business, things that push us to the next stage, then that's what we focus on most of all. We decide that once per quarter, because we're not going to overwhelm ourselves, we are going to choose one lever that will push our growth to the next stage. So in your planning, as you start to plan the next 12 months ahead of you, choose one lever, something that will make a significant difference in your business, one lever for your growth in each quarter. That means at the end of each year, whether it's calendar or any other time, you could start now, it doesn't have to start on January 1. In each quarter, choose the thing 
that will make a difference in your business and push you to the next level. Choose a lever. Don't choose operational, choose a lever. What will get you there to the next stage? That means you have four at the end of the year, okay? And then when you break it down by quarter, because I also like to plan by quarter, in each month, make sure you are guided by that lever. Just focus on that one thing. So often with entrepreneurs, there's so much to be done, it's very hard to prioritize. Here is your prioritization. One lever per quarter, and in each month, do one, two or three things that help you get that lever realized, that help you push to the next stage. It allows you space, it doesn't overwhelm you, there's not too much to deliver at any one point, but it must be significant. The lever must make a significant difference. Okay, point number three, I'm reading a great book at the moment and it's called, and I want to give you the correct title, The Lazy Genius Way by Kendra Adachi. And the tagline underneath it is, which I love, embrace what matters, which is what we've just been talking about. Embrace what matters, ditch what doesn't and get stuff done. Wonderful insight in this book, and I do recommend you get this book, is decide once. So, if we have so many decisions to make, if it's really difficult to make all these decisions because we're overwhelmed, then we simplify life a little. Simplify the decision-making process, simplify your planning. So if you've already chosen, decide once what you're going to do in each quarter, what's your lever for growth? Decide once. So you know you have focus on one thing per quarter. In everything you do, allow this idea, this mindset to come into your being to decide once. So with every opportunity, when you have a video to shoot, when you have to, you know, you're hesitating about doing live video, decide to do it, decide once. Decide once, it will make the difference and it will change how your planning works because it will make it deliver, okay? So three really simple things for you today. And this, I promise you, will make a difference to your planning. It will make your planning deliver. Number one, no failure, only learning. Number two, choose a lever for every quarter. It means you're not overwhelmed. You're choosing things that make a substantial leap in your business. We call it a lever. Number three, decide once. Practice the art of deciding once, okay? And my closing thoughts for you, I like to do this. Soon you will see your planning deliver if you do these three tips, okay? You will forgive yourself when things don't work and use it as a learning point. Really important, forgive yourself, okay? Number two, you will focus on what matters and leverage your growth consciously because you're making conscious decisions in each quarter what to do. No, I'm not going to do that because it won't make a significant impact. Only choose what makes a significant impact. And lastly, you will make decisions more easily, more freely, because you're deciding once. That's all I have for you today. This is Ask Finola How, episode 11, and Ask Me How. Next month, we're moving on to a different theme of the month. This month, we had planning. I'm open to what you want to do next month. Let me know. DM me. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.